and welcome back people for another episode of Spyro and basically we're trying to figure out wait we should have we should have just figured out how to get out of this world like honestly Son of a bitch. I feel I feel we should you think we're ever gonna get that damn it but no um we haven't figured out where to go yet or how to get off this world we don't know if we have even enough dragons if that's the problem um, I don't know what we haven't even been up there. Have we? We've been up there, haven't we? Yeah, we have. You have? Okay. Uh, I think we've been to all the levels in this world. I, I, I at least think, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get on the, the runway. Yeah, I think. See, this is where it perplexes me because I feel we got every dragon in every world. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe. I think we have. I mean, I don't. There's gotta be something else. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, keep going, keep going. No, I wasn't meaning like that. I was meaning like, wait, 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 inside my head of like, oh, maybe. Wait a minute. Wait. What? Andy, say something. <laughs> I'm lost. I don't know where to go. Well, you're the one. You're the one controlling. But yeah. We don't know where to go. Oh, you're getting zapped, to Rudy. Yeah, I figured. <sighs> we did blow hard. Go up to him. Talk to him real quick. Okay. Too good the balloons. Hey, Spyro, maybe I can help you recover those five, five dragon eggs. eggs. I bet you would do well to hunt for eggs and whiz on on Wizard Peak. The entrance portal is just up the hill behind you. I guess stay here. What what does he mean? Is he um, saying we need to get the eggs? Possibly. What entrance portal? He says it was right behind us. On what? Crystal what was No, it? no, he said like there's an entrance portal right behind us, but there isn't. There's a level to like Yeah. Whatever. You know, you know what's funny about this? That's there. You know it's, uh, it's simple right here. You just walk this. Just walk, I mean, just, I mean without just, dying. You, I mean without dying, but still. I'm looking this up. I'm looking up right now how to get off of Wizard's Peak. This is the hot air balloon. Man, my phone's so slow. How to get off? Give it, give, give it here. Uh, give it here. <gasps> yes, I got him. Okay, go talk to the dude again. Maybe maybe that's it. How to get off a wizard. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Peak. Oh, I feel oh, happy. In Spyro. I know you're searching shit, but my god, I feel happy. <laughs> but how many episodes was that? Three episodes of him just trying to catch that fucker? Okay, do you think you can actually, like, fly over? I don't think you can fly over. I, I, think. Could, I, could, I could try. No, don't even, don't even try. Like, there's no way. Maybe. I uh, I know the day. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, I got. Okay, there's too much reading. I'm not gonna deal with it. Keep going. Just go go all the way around. Are you actually gonna try this? Yes, I'm gonna try this. You're... I knew it. I knew <laughs> it. It was just failure all along. I believe. All right. So I'm guessing I'm, I fly. I'm guessing we're done with this area. So. Like a bird in the sky. Getting shot down by the could we FBI. just go? Could we just go to Ripto's area then? What the? What are you talking about? I mean, not Ripto. What the hell am I talking about? Nork. No, Nork. Nork's is a ways. We got like I think two more worlds. So where would we go for the other worlds then? Go, go to the balloonist. That's that's where we gotta go. The balloonist. He's he has the answers. He's the one that gives us the right. Hey, Fu Manchu! <laughs> Fondue! <laughs> oh my god. Don't um, roast him with his new haircut! It looks good! So you're going for like the 50s in gel kind of look. It looks good! Oh. Uh, kind of also looks like a little mix of a bob, but you know. What? A bob. What's an undercut? Very fucking styles. Well, it reminds me of a bob, sorry. That is not how you. That's not a bomb. He has an undercut. It is an undercut, right? Undercut. It is an undercut. I can tell it's an undercut, but it reminds me of a fucking bomb. Right? 
Ooh. Fucker. Just, just fly off. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, now go talk to him. Tuco, the balloonist. Great work, Spyro. You must be faster than you... Oh, it was five eggs. Ah, oh, so... Go to Beast Makers. Oh, wait. Alright. We're recording. <laughs> Quiet in the library. No talking. But anyways, we finally got to the other area because we were just fucking lost. So... Oh, okay. I remember this place. Yes, it is blonde. It doesn't even look blonde at all. Where did that... <laughs> it looks We're, like it's... A golden color. The, the highlights. It looks like a very light brown. But anyways. <laughs> you ever had to like this kind of shits where it's like it feels like it's like moving through you and it hurts really bad and it's like a nice like well not it's not even nice it's like a sharp pain crawling through some it feels like there's an some sort of thing inside of you trying to come out and then you get like the nasty shit so so, it's like, so when you say about coming out like out of your stomach you mean like the, the alien well coming out of your butt but you know but it's, yeah it's I, I know yeah it's like something alive inside you yeah Andy, i had i had something like that before and then, then you have like the nice like football ones where it's like comes out <laughs> oh my and you god feel fantastic oh my god just please stop okay now we got to finally into a different world entering terrace village oh wait there's yeah there's two more worlds after this i think oh yeah no so we're pretty we're yeah. pretty close <laughs> get zappity zoop zap with the zip zap and the zoop zap Yeah, there's only like two kinds of enemies in this game, and it's like I mean, they're really simple. Ram them, or, or blow them. Fun. <laughs> that can be taken to two pretty much two different things. Well, I'm going for the any way you want to take it. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the that's the idea of Spyro. Is it's <laughs> all just sex jokes and disguise for a kids' game. Well, it's Insomniac. Look at Ratchet and Clank. Oh yeah, definitely. Rip you a new one? Come on. You gotta know, they were talking about butts. Okay. Yeah, get that life. Get the life. Oh, Goddamn controllers. Oh, you don't have uh, sparks for you right now. Blow, blow the chicken. Blow the... You're dead. Yeah. I... Blow the chicken. Blow the chicken. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, Andy... Yeah. Can you remember what the other two worlds were? Um, there's one with, like, pixies on them. Whoa. Man, you're in the danger zone. I went to the danger zone. Um, there's, uh... Why do I keep pressing O? Why? Stop This it. world? <laughs> this world. A pixie world. And then, I think, finally you go to face an SD Nork. Because Nork has his own little area, I think, right? I think he's, it's just a straight boss battle to him after you beat those worlds. And he's quite easy. He's a really easy boss. Like, it, Yeah, I figured. And again. I uh, press square. To us. Some, some, Sudoku. So, you know, you know <laughs> in Japanese. You know, they, they commit Sudoku. Some Poku. Some Poku. It's some Poku. Some Poku. It's Simpoku! Please don't. But it, it makes me think of Sudoku. Uh, I love. Have you, have you sat down with a nice, good game of Sudoku? I like never that? played Sudoku. Never played Sudoku? That game can be um quite entertaining. Uh, it's it's all about math and kind of patterns that you can come up with to get all the numbers on there, but not they can't line up. Like you can't have the same number out of a certain amount of numbers. What the? But, um... Damn it. And then our second game over. Is our, this our second game over? This is our second game over. Second game, game over. I was trying to get those, um... Fucking... You've probably seen it. I was trying to get those pans on this freaking ledge of it, and it's like... Ugh. But, like, you have to get the numbers in a row... Like, all the numbers. I think it's like 1 through 9, right? 1 through 9. Okay? But you can't have the same number in the same row. Either if it's a vertical column or a horizontal column. Okay. So it makes it really difficult. Well, at least I think it's very difficult. Yeah. 
And I think there's like certain ways you're just, like some people. If I'm not if I'm correct, what, what? some people see it as like there's an actual specific way on how you can do the puzzling of it. Yeah. While others, it's kind of like, yeah, there there is no puzzle behind it. But the idea of it is the reason why it's so difficult is because there's already numbers in some of the squares. So you have to work along those numbers. It wasn't as easy as simple as like you have the set squares, so you have to you could just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then kinda of like shift it down. So it's uh nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you know, keep doing that. Cause that would work out. But since they actually add random numbers in, it kind of really like messes with you. Hmm. And that's why I kinda of like enjoy Sudoku, but then it's like I don't have time for mind games like that. I prefer my uh, crossword puzzles. And by cross... Wait. Word search puzzles. I love word search puzzles. Forget crossword puzzles. These things are a pain. I'm, I'm not good at word search. <laughs> Wait, no. I'm good at word search. See, look at me. I'm getting like tongue twined, tongue twisted. I can't even think. You know. I just really love me some word games, man. You know, Hangman, that's the shit back in the day. I remember you could play Hangman with anyone, and it gets intense. Because because if you're hanging with friends in elementary school, <laughs> yeah. you got to know it's some dirty words, okay? And when you're in church, you got to think up of dirty words that wouldn't be bad Damn. to have at church. Or at least funny words that you think are dirty. Like, okay, I, got, I can't fuck this up. Can't. Toilet. A commode. Um, dirty, and, uh, pie. I was just one click I think, off. I, th I think pie is a, is a term that can be used for anything in life, whether it be a, a drug call term, yeah. like you have like, oh, instead, you know, everybody has like, their kind of like codes for drugs and stuff. Like, you bring the pie, man. You bring the pie. What did you got? Apple? Nah, man, I want some fucking blue bla blueberry, man. Give me some of that blueberry. Nah, man, I'm all for that peach, man. That peach. Okay, I got some peach, but I got a little mixed with blueberries. Is that, is that good for you? Yeah, man, that's my kind of shit there, man. I I'll dig in that. Or it could be used as a... Uh, I'm going to go dig into some pie later on. That could be the term for, like, nookie, you know? And they did it all for the nookie. <laughs> so you can go and take that cookie and shove it up your... Ah! Ah! Oh gosh, Lent Biscuit, why did you... Oh, Lent Biscuit. <laughs> I don't know how you to have feel a... towards that man. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, you can either, like, I kind of like it, but I don't know if I should like it. Yeah, it's like, it's that band that's, it's edgy. And it's like, do you want to listen to something edgy? Because that's kind of it like, it's very kind of, mm -hmm. you know. Eh. I hate, I hate this level. Well, we will continue this level in Boom. the next video because yeah, we're, gonna... we're, we're around the time for it. So... Yeah, but luckily we got to a different world. I'm just having shit luck on this one because I don't know how to fucking play. But we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. See ya.